Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you will enjoy the video and as always, thank you so much for watching. Know how hard it is to be a hopeful romantic in a generation that values hookup culture more? We got situationships, ex situationships, friendships with benefits. There's so many ships out here, I'm getting lost in the big blue sea. Where's the relationship boat? How did I miss that stop? Why am I not on that one? Are you dumb? Like, I don't want... Take me out to dinner. Yeah, nope. I can't speak for everyone else, but I love me all the ships that you've mentioned. Hookup culture is the best thing that ever happened to men. Thank you for pouring milkshake on my seat. Thank you for that. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, the sign was there, you just refused to see them. She cried whenever you didn't text her back. So next time, don't put your D in crazy. Uh, at least six feet tall, uh, is emotionally stable. He's got to make six figures for sure. Has his finances in order. Goes to the gym every day. Knows what he wants, you know, isn't afraid to go for that. Is he breathing? Does he have a pulse? Yep. Yeah. Did you buy that cat yet? Or did that come at 40? They say the best way to a man's heart is through a stomach. The best way through my heart is through a plane ticket. Get to know me on a beach thing when we sip a pina coladas. Not in your dusty, crusty crib. Mm. Plane tickets? So we jumped from dinner to plane tickets and pina colada. That's gonna be what, two, three thousand dollars? You know how many girlfriend experience I can buy on the corner for that kind of money? <laughs> You're crazy. One thing I know about dusty men is that they love to pay for everything in the beginning. And then when they think their job is done because you're being nice to them, you're allowing them to all over you. Then they think, oh, I don't have to pay no more. The dates start off by telling you, oh, you can get anything you want from here, order whatever you like, to, mm, can you only order one thing today? He might even try to tell you that he can't afford to date you or that the dates are getting expensive. He might try to demote you to Netflix and chill dates. They might even ask you to pay. Well, if he can switch up, so can I. I consider guys like this to be catfishes with their finances. Run like the wind. Leave that man with his credit card debt and his financial love bombing self. Dump him. If you want to be nice, you can give him one last week to call you his girlfriend. But then dump him. Still trying to find that sugar daddy? What happened with that 60 years old man that you were dating? Did he go broke or something? Don't worry, you'll find one. I'm pretty sure you'll have maybe a couple of years of your looks. So be on the lookout. Look at this. Men who don't chase are giving up space for more aggressive men. If you have boundaries, men like this are likely to disregard them. Speaking facts. He's right. Women who are emotionally mature and they find a man being aggressive and codependent are going to turn them away. Therefore, if a man isn't you know, chasing, which we discussed already that the women are gonna pursue the men now, ladies, you have to start being emotionally mature and step up. But regardless, if a man isn't chasing a woman, and he's not like a good guy chasing a woman, right? Then yeah, he's right. The aggressive, more toxic males are the one chasing. So ladies, pay attention. Hashtag we're gonna fix dating. We just came to a conclusion, guys. Share it, let everyone know. The aggressive men are the only men that chase and the aggressive men are the ones that are codependent and the ones that are codependent are toxic therefore it's not going to work period look at we're getting somewhere join the discussion hashtag we're gonna fix dating yeah so hashtag good luck with that dating was fine before a guy was picking you up opening the car door for you open the restaurant door for you pull up the chair for you pay for everything drive you home so you decided that was wrong, creepy, or whatever else. So again, hashtag good luck with that. 
If you think calling me pretty is gonna get you anywhere, you are out of your mind, okay? I've been called pretty plenty of times. Be different, do something out of the box. Buy me a drink? No, buy me tickets to Bora Bora. Oh, hey, look, another one. Well, if someone calls you pretty, I will take it as a win and <laughs> go celebrate. Why has no one called this out? Jordan Peterson is a psychologist. Think about what he says and think about what he is. Jordan Peterson has referred to a few studies that compared male occupation and female occupations based on the things orientation and people orientation. And he continues to make the claim that women are people orientated and men tend to be more thing orientated. Now, don't get me wrong. I have no problem men choosing whatever jobs they want to do. But if you're gonna sit there crying, claiming that men build impossible things and hence have more value than women who are people orientated while sitting in a job that's people orientated. You have to ask the question. Never in his life he ever said that men have more value because of the job they are choosing. You are just taking things out of context to make yourself look good or to just make things fit into your own narrative, which is obviously the hate against men. So the question to be asked here is, did you really think you'll make yourself look smarter? Because not even the people in your comments agreed with you. Tell me about a time you shot your shot and it didn't really work out as planned. Let me so I was out at a bar with some friends and saw this really cute guy I was making eyes and I'm like, F it, I'm just gonna go talk to him. I go talk to him and he is like not making eye contact with me, just acting like he wants nothing to do with me. So I was like, okay, like mm, I'm over this guy. But then it was like on my mind, I was like, how is he not into me? Like I couldn't wrap my brain around it. So I was like, maybe I just made him really nervous. So I went back over to him and proceeded to ask him, okay, like you can just tell me like, do you like, are you just nervous around me or do you just want nothing to do with me? Um, I'll let you guess what he said. Oh my God, how is he not into me? Well, <laughs> I don't even need to guess what he said. Congratulations, you just experienced how it feels to be a man. When it's been almost a year now and no one has given me a baby yet. I've been trying, I really have, and no one. So I'm once asking, I'm asking once again, who wants to have a baby with me? Hey, if that empty stare doesn't convince you guys, just picture this, 18 years of child support. That will convince you for sure. Pay attention, this is super important. If you get into a truck with a guy and he drives like this, he knows he's number one, and you'll always be second. Now, if he drives with the sight grip and bend, that's okay. But this? If the finger's hanging, you better be rethinking. I don't believe in that stereotype about blonde girls, because I'm pretty sure that's not true. But this is the plain definition about having an IQ that's lower than french fries. So this advice is for the guys consistently on the apps or even with like guys in real life that I meet in a bar that I'm friends with, they'll make it clear that they just want to hook up. Like you'll match with them on Bumble and a couple messages and they'll be like, nah, I'm just looking for a hookup. I'm here to tell you that that is fine. And that some girls want that too, a lot more than you would think. The problem is that girls don't want to be called a hookup because society has made us very sensitive to feeling like we're being used, even if we actively want that exact same situation for whatever reason. So why can't guys just invite us for a glass of wine? That's literally all it takes. It's like eight to 12 bucks. If she's interested in you and also interested in that, you'll know she'll go home with you. But if you just tell me straightforwardly you're looking for a hookup, I like can't agree. Like my ego and my pride won't let me just be like, sure, me too. Okay, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.